The Myrtle Beach Classic is now just 30 days away, and meteorologist Scotty Powell has been busy chipping around the Grand Strand getting ready for it. Today he shows you one of the holes on the course that looks pretty easy. That is until you actually try to play it. We're back out here at the Dunes Club with Dennis Nickel. And Dennis, we are now on hole number seven. And it looks fairly straight, looks very straightforward that this would be an easy hole, but you guys just hosted the Hackler uh, College Tournament. This actually ranked as one of the top three hardest holes here at the course. Yeah, if you're, if you're a member here at the club or a guest who plays here, you don't have to play many times before you realize this hole is, is something special. You know, everyone loves number seven. The greens complex is really what makes it kind of the difficulty of the entire hole. You think a little 420, 430 yard par four should be easy for most players. Perfectly placed fairway bunker, and then just coming into the screen, no matter what iron you hit, it's hard to get it to sit down. So this was going to be one of those pivotal holes where you may see a great tee shot, but it's actually the approach shot that's going to be really coming into to play. Here. Yeah, and, and having to get up and down on the greens with the undulations the way it is, it's 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 a hole where when we play, if you walk away with one par and three bogeys, that's kind of normal, or yeah. maybe someone will have, already have their ball in their pocket. And you were telling me we've got out of bounds out here. We've got this bunker that seems to be, you know, best place yeah. for where your drive could end up. So it yeah. could be a tricky hole. And it's into the wind today, and this should be the prevailing wind that we'll have during the tournament. So it makes it play a lot longer than what it seems. So what you think you should hit like a seven iron in or a six iron, you probably should hit a five or a four, and you just can't trust it. That's a good, that's a good note. But Dennis, we're now here on the green and uh, I'll step out and you can just see the screen's got a lot of movement to it. Yeah, the trick is it's extremely narrow. So coming in with any shot, even a wedge is hard to get it to stop because especially the, this big nose behind the bunker throws it off the back of the green. On the right side, it's like a ski slope going off. So this whole location actually is the easiest one on the entire hole, front left or middle left. And, uh, and it'll probably be there one of the two days, Thursday or Friday, but then it's going to get a lot tougher over the weekend. And so really this hole is going to be all about the approach shot and even working on your short game. If you are off the green, you're going to have to find a way to chip it yeah, off. Yeah, the bunker in front is such a steep, steep face there that a lot of times the ball might plug in that steep face and it's try, it's very difficult to get up and down out of there. So you, you definitely don't want to be there. So most people hit it long and then it's tough to chip going away from you here. So a par here, you walk away, you, you thank yourself and move on. So although it may look fairly straight, you can see there's going to be some issues here on hole number seven where we could see more than a par for a lot of the PGA Tour pros.